Mural Fest 2023 was this past weekend in South Salt Lake, but don't worry if you missed it. You can still see all of the art that has popped up in the area called the Creative Industries Zone. Dozens of murals pepper the walls of local businesses and along the freeway that runs through that neighborhood. As Fox 13 News anchor Amy Nay reports, some people say it's helping to revitalize the community. Fun, right. it, yeah. Chris Jacobs is assistant brewmaster at Level Crossing Brewing Company of South Salt Lake. And then it's kind of moved into more things and become bigger and bigger, which is really cool in the area. He says he loves the mural on their building and that like many, it reflects their business, a thriving part of what's coined the creative industry zone. They're helping progress the area, planting trees along the road, like doing all that type of stuff, which you know has made it look a lot different than it was four years ago. That's when they opened here on 30th South and West Temple, but says it's changed dramatically since then with major beautification efforts in just the past year. You know, that building looked completely different six months ago and they came in, you know, painted it all white and then put these beautiful murals up on it. Once touted as the center of industry, Chris says it still has that, but now so much more. You know, there are places to come, sit outside, sit on the patio, drink a beer, eat some food. There's a few breweries around, there's a few distilleries around. It's definitely becoming more of a hot spot. Artists came in from all over the world to create these new works of art. This one actually a local artist from Salt Lake City who created this one along I-80 and State Street. It's just beautiful. One of 10 new works of art unveiled that now makes 60 new murals here in South Salt Lake. Like this one or this one. And there are dozens more. Employees at this business tell me they love the new additions and what it does for their neighborhood. But not everyone's a fan. To me, it's an eyesore. Ernest Potter has owned his home, which looks out toward I-80 and what was a gray wall. I just enjoy the privacy, okay? And the freeway noise don't bother me, by the way. <laughs> Already, he says, he's seen more foot traffic, something those behind the project tout as a positive. But Ernest says he doesn't like it. I'm not against the artists, and I'm not against the art, and I'm not against what South Salt Lake City's doing, but I don't want it being done in front of residents. And worries what's to come. The, the city should be respectful of the, the property owners because they're not coming out and asking us. We're trying to make art accessible to everybody, so we're trying to roughly make the world's largest art museum that's public and free. Jonathan Trujillo King from the Utah Arts Alliance says this all started in 2017, but was one of the only festivals that managed to continue through the pandemic. It kept art alive. So it was a very rough neighborhood, but over the years it's gotten better and better. So it's really revitalized the community. And do you think the art has played a big role? 100%, 100%. You take a wall that's kind of disheveled, you take a area that's not highlighted, you put beautiful art on it, it brings people down, and then it just transforms the community and provides a vibrant economy. In South Salt Lake, Amy Nang, Fox 13 News, Utah.